Benji Tutman. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jen Shaleen. Um, I just want to let you guys know if you hear noise in the background, that's my cat. Um, she has a bell on her, so I need to know where she is at all times. So she's going to be like a third party in this video. But um, I wanted to come on here and share with you guys five ways that YouTube has changed my life and has been helping me, honestly, in 2024 to push out more content and really become the person that I've always known that I was. So the first point that I want to get into is the fear of being seen. YouTube has helped me r tremendously with the fear of being seen. I used to have like this, I don't know, I used to have like this awkwardness about myself on camera, recording myself on camera. Sometimes I still believe it's kind of weird talking to a camera and then going back and then editing everything and then like trying to get my points out, my thoughts out in a way where I don't sound crazy and stuff. And um, But I think on the receiving end, once the video is completed and done, then I'm able to really be like, okay, like it's not awkward, it's not weird. I'm actually like talking to someone you know I was really critical of myself um, I used to be very critical about the way that I looked I used to be very critical about my voice how I sound sometimes my accent will come through and like I pronounce some words incorrectly because English is not my first language so I was very I was very like critical about the way I sounded like my voice I was very critical about my style the way I looked I'm always changing my style I always want to look different sometimes so I was very critical about like picking this image, I guess, like picking this image on who I wanted to be and who I wanted to um, show to the world and who I wanted people to remember me as. And then I realized it really just doesn't matter. The more I put out content, I'm realizing that um, there's different, you know, styles and different, different videos that people are going to like. There's different videos that people are going to gravitate towards. So I've really just been able to look at my youtube page look at the way i've been creating and really just create a space for myself create a space where i'm comfortable where i don't feel like it's awkward to record the video or i don't put out videos that i don't like at the end after i've edited them youtube has really helped me create the image that i actually want to be perceived as and um creating a platform with my creativity my works my thoughts my ideas another way that youtube has helped me is to remember that my audience is waiting for me i created a video um i created like a prophetic video about this on how i had a dream um about something pertaining to my small business and um it was just such a beautiful dream it was such a beautiful thing because you never really know who's watching you until you know you actually start putting out the content or you actually start like creating the videos and stuff and putting out the works and then you start seeing that traffic you start seeing those people come in and what i would tell people starting off with youtube is your audience is already there so whatever you're imagining if you're thinking i'm gonna make videos about finance or if you're thinking i'm gonna make creative videos i'm gonna make how-to diy videos i'm gonna make clothing videos if you're thinking about creating that type of content your best bet is to your best bet is to go out and do your searches on that content already and see how many people are interested in that content if that is what interests you. So I mostly do hair videos and I personally, when I first started my lock journey, I actually was watching a lot of lock videos. So I would find pages, I would find YouTube pages where they were starting from posting from one month all the way to like three years or two years and they were showing the progress of their locks and i really i really love those videos because i could see the growth i could see what they did with their hair i could see how they when they combed out their hair the transition i could keep up with their lives so those were the videos that i was really really into and other hair videos like or other natural style content creators um other natural black girls that were doing hair caribbean girls african girls that were doing hair i really 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 gravitated towards their content because that was something that i liked so 
when I started creating YouTube videos, I just did what I liked. Um, and I'm still doing it to this day. I'm creating videos that I like because with me going on and searching for the videos that I liked, I was one of the viewers. So I just thought as a viewer, I'm going after videos that I like, so I might as well, as the creator, create videos that I would also like to watch. So that's basically what I did, and that's what I'm doing. I'm creating videos that I, as a viewer, would like as a content creator to create, if that makes sense. <laughs> Hopefully that makes sense. But, and the audience is already there. So if you're if you're someone that you want to be a hair creator, create videos um, pertaining to hair. If you're someone you want to be a makeup content creator, create videos that are pertaining to makeup because there is an audience already for you that is just waiting for you. Like they're just waiting to find you. And once I realized that, things became a little bit easier because I realized that I already have my audience. My audience is already here. They're just waiting to find one of my videos. They're just waiting to stumble up across one of my videos, one of my YouTube shorts, and to subscribe to my channel. The next way that YouTube has changed my life is gaining customers for my small business using YouTube. So I didn't realize this before, but I used to have this thing where, of course, I had the fear of being seen, but with my business, I wasn't really showing all of the progress and all of the stuff that I was doing. So the next launch of my business, I told myself that I was actually going to record everything that I did and I was going to post like there's nobody's business. I was going to post. I was going to post everything that I made. I was going to show it and record it. And that is what I have done. And doing that, I've actually gained customers and traffic for my business. So if you don't know, I have a small skincare business named Shaleen Beauty. I'm going to add some pictures here on the screen where I sell face washes, body butters, hair oils, different things like that. And I have soaps coming to the website soon. If you guys are interested, it's natural, it's vegan based. All my products have not been tested on any animals. They are tested on me for the most part. All of this is cosmetic grade products, okay? They're perfect for your skin. They're perfect for melanated skin. So if you are a brown or black girl, black guy, brown, black guy, this is perfect for your skin. And YouTube has been a marketing tool that I don't think a lot of people realize can also boost your traffic sales on your website. So I was watching this girl and she was posting a lot of her body butters and she was posting her lotions that she was making. And she was just putting posting daily she was posting these videos daily and she was selling all these products and I said oh my gosh why am I not doing that why am I not posting this on my YouTube I'm posting it on Instagram and I'm posting it on TikTok but why am I not posting it on YouTube so that's what I decided to do I started to focus more on using YouTube as a marketing tool for my small business and it has flourished it is like amazing to see honestly I get sales from my YouTube and I'm just like wow people are actually buying products from my YouTube and it's just such a beautiful thing to actually see people from my YouTube from me posting content and showing how my, how I'm creating things and showing how I'm actually making the products for you guys you're actually buying and you're actually interested in not only the formulating process but also like the packaging labeling and you know the distribution once I'm done with everything and I'm shipping things off so it has been amazing just to see and to use YouTube as that marketing tool and I also want to let you guys know that I will be having a Valentine's Day sale. So on my website, it will be down in the description box below. If you're watching this um, today that I'm recording this, it's February 3rd, if I'm not mistaken. So I will have the Valentine's Day sale um, for the entire month of February. It will be 
um, for a face wash and two body butters. If you're interested in this Valentine's Day sale, you can get a face wash and two body butters. And I just wanted to thank you guys for supporting my small business. And um, thank you to YouTube for actually getting me to post my content and really hone in on my craft. And stop being so scared to share, you know? The next point um, where YouTube has really changed my life is being creative, um, optimistic, and having more freedom. So before when I first started, I really didn't know what I wanted to do. I really didn't know what I wanted my channel to be. And I was just making videos. Like I was just making videos. I was just chopping things up, editing on my phone or editing on iMovie on my phone. It was a mess. My camera quality wasn't that good. Since then, I've deleted those videos. But I was really just doing whatever until I finally decided this is the girl that I want to show this is the name that I want to use. This is the persona that I want to share out with the world. This is the side of me that I want to share out with the world. And um, these are the videos that I want to create. So I was very optimistic in changing that, I guess, niche or um, niche. It's niche. I think it's niche. Changing my style, changing how I look, changing the person that I wanted to be viewed as. I was very passionate about just finding freedom in creating but also um having a certain uniqueness and individuality with myself and how i was creating my content and stuff like that and i really didn't want to box myself in i wanted to be able to create a plethora of videos but still have it pertain to my channel and who i am and who i wanted to reflect so if you don't know i make videos on hair i make vid videos about my small business showing you guys how i formulate things i used to make videos about me learning languages i make prophetic releases prophetic videos fashion beauty makeup hair it's all okay i make videos about it all and i really like that i opened up that 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 realm for myself I opened up that space instead of boxing myself in and really saying okay we're gonna make this that in the third videos I really decided that I wanted to be creative I wanted to be free and I just wanted to be more optimistic about my audience what I was creating and just how I was creating in general The last point about how YouTube has changed my life is I am no longer limiting myself. So um, years ago, I never thought that I would have 2,700 subscribers and I have now 2,700 subscribers. And I know that it is growing and we're almost to 3K and this has really came with not limiting myself and really you know, honing in on my craft and really trying my best to create quality content that I would like to watch myself and really trying my best to broaden my horizon. So I think that over the years of YouTube, I've really been trying to broaden my horizon, open up the, you know, open up the gates to see what more I can do, what more I can learn, what more I can, you know, you know create and stuff like that so i was really trying my best literally my best to find my footing in youtube find the way i wanted to create find the way i wanted to edit find the way i wanted to you know make thumbnails and make make my banners make my icon make the content really like the content what music i wanted to use like i really just didn't want to limit myself to one thing and i think because i've just been so open and because i've been so optimistic about youtube it has really helped my channel grow like literally it has really helped my channel grow i had one video that literally went to i think seven hundred thousand. like it's a youtube short it went to seven hundred thousand views and i have another one that was like twenty thousand views so when you really put in the effort and you really put in the the time to really dedicate to creating and just being free honestly just being free to create you will see that 
there is a harvest there is fruits that can be reaped you know there's so much that can come from you putting your all into youtube you putting your all into creating and just really being yourself being your authentic self and I think that that's what I've been doing and that's how I've been growing my channel. And I'm so excited for the new subscribers that I may get from this video, the new customers that may purchase my items, may um, support my skincare brand. I'm so excited for you guys. I'm so excited to share more on this content. I'm so excited to share more on this channel. I'm so excited to show the beginnings of my business, of my small business, and show how things are thriving. For the most part, I'm just so excited to really get into YouTube and really start creating for you guys and creating a space for the audience that I already know that I have. I love you guys. I'll be back on my next video, so I'll see you guys soon. Remember, I love you, and so does the big king. Peace. Bye.